Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another match in the NoDQ.com Wrestling Trivia Challenge Championship Tournament. It's going to be a barn burner because the winner of this match faces off against Chris Cass. So oh this is going to be... Of an course. Yes, it's, it's going to be an exciting match. And I'm looking forward to this one. I think this one will be this one will be close. So without further ado, let me introduce to you the contestants. First of all, from Combat Wrestling Trivia, my fellow Pennsylvanian, Nico nice. Suave Regoli. Nico, what's up, brother? Pleasure to meet all of you here at NoDQ.com. Uh, it's very interesting now because this is the first I'm hearing that Cass won that match before me. And yeah, we're, we're actually taping uh, before this the episode releases, so yeah, yeah, no spoilers to anybody out there. But now no. you guys know, but it, it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure. Chris Cass was victorious in his match. So Cass and I have some history, so I'm hoping I can get through this match and uh, run it back against him once more and continue this fun rivalry uh, we've been having. Uh, I've seen what Paul can do. Uh, but I feel like I have the experience advantage, even though it may not be in this particular league. I do have a lot more experience. I've challenged for titles in two different mediums of trivia over the course of a three year career uh, with I know I have titles uh, in my sights still. So uh, I, and yours is one of them. And so <laughs> this is the first step towards getting there. Uh, one thing before you go to my opponent, if this is airing before February 14th, and I feel Which this it is- will. A- It will, oh, yeah. Okay, then this is perfect because uh, you know this, but a lot of the, your audience does not. Trivia for Thon 3, that's Sunday, February 14th, 2021, from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. Their match is simulcasting from the various YouTube channels of the Schmodown fan community, as well as my personal Twitch channel, uh, 12 matches over the course of a 12-hour period, including your boy Chris Cass taking on Matthew Rosa wow. for Rosa's Combat Wrestling Trivia World Heavyweight Championship, as well as the Movie Trivia Challenge Championship and the inaugural Trivia for Thon Omniversal Championship. Uh, if you'd like to donate to our cause, that's donate.thon.org slash campaign slash trivia, the number four, T-H-O-N, the number three. All proceeds are going to the Four Diamonds Fund as part of Penn State's annual Thon event. Uh, the Four Diamonds Fund covers the costs uh, of children battling cancer at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. All donations are in tribute to former Schmodown Inner Geekdom champion Kevin the Smasher Smets. And if we reach three thousand dollars and you are the highest donor to that cause individually, I will do something very stupid. I will let you determine what my very first tattoo will be. <laughs> so there, there you go. Donate to a good cause. The link will be in the description if you want to go check that out. And I say you do. I mean, it's a great cause. Deal, dealing with kids battling cancer. I mean, it, it's a wonderful Definitely. cause. Go donate to it. Go check out the Trivia for Thon on February 14th. Now, thank you very much for that, Nico. And of course, you guys know who his opponent is because he challenged for this very championship last season. And, and he did very well for himself, so we brought him back. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Mead is on the show. Paul, welcome back. Yeah, Thank you. I've uh, been... Uh preparing for your day uh, i keep been up with some of your old ones nico so i'm think i'm ready so there's three i think i'm the underdog so. Me, so which version of me did you watch <laughs> I can't, uh i think with combat zone i am not <laughs> combat wrestling trip. uh i'm uh i think i watched one with you and rosa oh there you that go was, I we've, we've battled a bunch too, so and they've all been great <laughs> matches. And I'll tell you what, it's possible that you two could meet up in the finals of this, but we'll have to yeah. see because Matthew Rosa is, of course, on the other side. Now, for this very game, you guys might know the rules, you might not. So if you don't, listen to the wonderful sounds of Sarah Priebus in your ears as she tells you the rules. Hi, I'm Sarah Priebus, and here are the rules for the NoDQ.com Wrestling Trivia Challenge. Each game consists of 20 questions. Starting with the player who drew first, the players take turns alternating between the 20 questions. Each contestant has 10 seconds to answer each question and a contestant gets a point per correctly answered question. If a contestant incorrectly answers their question, the opponent has an opportunity to provide a correct answer. 
If both contestants fail to answer correctly, no one gets the point for that question. Each contestant has the opportunity to skip one of their own questions for an alternate question without penalty. The opponent cannot answer a skipped question, but can answer the alternate question if the initial player answers that one incorrectly. The first contestant to reach 10 points, or whoever has the most points after all 20 questions have been asked, will be declared the winner. In the event of a tie, a special tiebreaker will take place until one contestant wins the game. Now let's ring the bell and get this match started. Thank you very much, Sarah. Always a pleasure to hear you. Thank you very much again for doing that for us. Now, we drew before the show who would be the first to answer questions. And Mr. Rigoli, you get the first question. So here we go with our first question. How many times were the ECW Tag Team Championships won in a singles match? 10 seconds. Go. Twice? That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. I have no idea. I'm just going to say three. That's a good guess because it's right. Three <laughs> times <is> correct. <laughs> yeah. Paul takes the early lead. I, th I thought, like, even for ECW, that's too much. I thought so, too. It, I thought when I was looking that up, it was very weird that it even changed hands once in a singles match, much less three times. I mean, it happened and at I WrestleMania don't know my ECW. Year, so. <laughs> yeah, it did happen at WrestleMania and the SmackDown after it changed hands in a triple threat. So there you go. Yeah. All right, Paul, your first question. Everybody's favorite here on Wrestling Trivia Challenge. Oh, no. <laughs> According to Spotify, which current WWE superstar has a theme song called Deliverance? 10 seconds. Go. Yeah. I have no idea. Take a guess. I have no idea. It's Bailey. It is Bailey. That's correct. It is Bailey. <laughs> Didn't even need the 10 seconds to think about it. <laughs> As even. Studying those up, too. I didn't catch it. <laughs> I know this because it was a question that was asked recently. In oh, a match well, there, you I there you go. Nice. Sometimes it works like that. <laughs> All right, Nico, your next question. Which two superstars did Triple H defend his WWE championship against at No Mercy 2007? Ten seconds. Go. Randy Orton. And John Cena? That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. Randy Orton and Umaga. Randy Orton and Umaga is correct. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a game of steals, isn't it? It is. Gonna... <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen three straight questions stolen like that. But uh, At the very beginning, too. At the very beginning of the match. But uh, we're off and running, people. This is going to be a good yeah. one. <laughs> All right, Paul, your next question. Who was the only person that Ronda Rousey defended the Raw Women's Championship against that lost the match by pinfall instead of submission? 10 seconds, go. Well, uh, I'm just gonna say Sasha Banks, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> When in doubt, go with my girl, Sasha Banks. That is correct. Yes. I was ready to pounce. <laughs> At the 2019 Royal Rumble, and what a match it was. Man. I love that match. All right. Next question. Nico. Which Survivor Series event had the poster tagline, Back to Attack? 10 Kill. seconds. You're killing me with some of these. Mm. I'm going to say 2006. That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. No idea. I'm just going to say 93. 
93 is also incorrect. The correct answer is 1996. I'm 10 years off. <laughs> Three years off. <laughs> yeah, we, we got the first stumper here. So there you go. <laughs> Although I don't think this one's going to stump Paul because I feel like it's in his wheelhouse. Crap. Paul, what event featured the infamous Yavapai strap match between Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair? 10 seconds. Go. Uncensored 2000. That's correct. It is Uncensored oh. 2000. Hey, guys, the uh, stream throws for me. I know you mentioned in our match WCW was uh, – <laughs> You're, you're a big WCW guy, so I figured you would know that. Even though it's such a weird... It's 2000 WCW, so it's definitely weird. All right, Nico, here comes your next question. Who did Rio defeat in her first AEW Women's Championship defense on an episode of Dynamite? Ten seconds. Go. Um... Emmy Sakura? That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. Probably wrong, but I'm just going to say Natalie Rose. That is also incorrect. The correct answer, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Ooh. I'm blowing it today. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Next question. And, and Nico, you always have the option to skip. You still have that yeah. in your uh, back pocket, so... Paul, what was the name of Wade Barrett's version of the Boss Man Slam? Ten seconds. Go. The Wasteland? Wasteland is incorrect. Nico, <laughs> ten seconds. Go. Is it the Winds of Change? It is the Winds of Change. Oh! That is correct. Man. Wasteland was my first guess. So when I yeah. heard it was wrong, I was like, oh, it's yeah, the other Wasteland's one. like his fireman's carry slam thing that was a lot of people hated. I didn't mind, but a lot of people were like, oh, that's a sucky finisher. <laughs> All right. Next question. Nico. What was the name of the match that The Undertaker and Giant Gonzalez competed in at SummerSlam 1993? We're gonna 10 skip. seconds. Skip. skip. We're going to skip. Skip that right away. Paul, did you know that? I'm just thinking no DQ. No, it wasn't a no DQ <laughs> match. It was actually, think about The Undertaker, a rest in peace match, which I haven't actually seen the match, so I'm not sure exactly what that consisted of. It's um, one where the audience rests peacefully while they wrestle in the ring. <laughs> that was going to have to see Giant Gonzalez again. That summer right. Sam was in Auburn Hills. I've been there before. All right. So, Nico, looking at the skip question, I apologize in advance, but uh, all these skip scared, questions please. come from our buddy, JB3. I'm scared now. <laughs> you should be as soon as you see the question. Which wrestler did Ric Flair defeat for the WCW United States Championship at Bash at the Beach, 1996? Ten seconds. Go. I'm just going to say Sting. It is not Sting. Paul, ten seconds. Go. Mexican heavyweight shaven Conan. Conan is correct. K Dog. Uh, you know, I yeah. watched this a few weeks ago and now I'm remembering that. God damn it. It probably would have been one of my first pay per views I ever watched. But not live, but on Yeah, it, on it's video. It's more, famous, it's more famous for other obvious reasons, but uh yeah. <laughs> all right. Paul, your next question. At which event did Alexa Bliss join Blake? And Murphy, which takeover event? Ten seconds, go. Oh, I have an idea, but I'm probably wrong, so I'm going to skip. You're going to skip. All right, Nico, did you know that? I was thinking it was takeover Fatal 4-Way. It was actually takeover Unstoppable. So, Because oh. yeah. I remember when Blue Pants joined Vaude Villains at yes. Brooklyn. But mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. 
All right, so you get your skip from JB3. Yep. And here it is. As soon as I... There we go. Your skip. When Rodney Mack started in the WWE, he was undefeated during his white boy challenge under Thuggin' and Buggin' Enterprises. Fantastic name, by the way. <laughs> Who was the wrestler that ended the streak? Ten seconds. Go. Goldberg. Goldberg is Madison correct. Square Garden. <laughs> Good use of the skip. Yes. I'm hating now, this but... game right now. <laughs> hey, you know what? Stranger things have happened. I've seen, I've seen we people come back VHS from seven to one and not on. that deep. So, well, My brother how, has a VHS episode somewhere. How many questions are left in this game, if I may ask? We, we have we have ten questions left. You are you're still in it, Nico. Yeah. Don't right. give up. Here we go. At which event did Velvet Sky win her first TNA Knockouts Championship? Ten seconds. Go. Do you also need the year? Preferably, yes. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm going to say uh, Turning Point 2010. That is incorrect. Paul, ten seconds. Go. Was it Bond for Glory 2012? You're a year off. It was 2011. It was with Karen Jarrett, right? It, it was actually a fatal four-way match. Yeah, I mean, Karen Jarrett storyline. Right? Might have been. Okay. Anyway, next question. Who did Asuka defend the NXT Women's Championship against at NXT TakeOver The End? Ten seconds. Go. Uh, I was going to say Peyton Royce. It was not Peyton Royce. Nico, 10 seconds. Go. Bailey? It was not Bailey. It was actually Nia Jax. I was... Man. So th 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 I know it went like she Bailey loses it to Asuka. Defends mm -hmm. it against Nia. Defends it one last time against Bailey. Yeah, I I figured the end could be the end of Bailey's career in NXT. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's when. But of course, I should have gone with the other. I've second guessed myself <laughs> in this game. I'm not happy right now. You're finding out that NXT is my weakness. <laughs> well, we still got a couple, at least one more NXT <laughs> question in here. So there you go. That's something I won't get it, but <laughs> okay. I'm going to specify this. You can either give me the number or the name. I will accept either one. At which In Your House event did the hog pen match take place? Ten Wait, who's, seconds. Whose question yeah. is this? This is yours, Nico. Oh. Yours. Yes. So, uh, either the number or the name. Ten seconds. Go. Four? That is incorrect. Paul, ten seconds. Go. I'd say five. Five is correct. It is five. I knew, Seasons like, beating. I'm trying to count how many months it was. I'm like, I know when t In Your House started. I knew what month it was. <laughs> All right. This one might trip you up, Paul, but honestly, <laughs> if you get this one, I'll be impressed. <laughs> Who are the only pair of men to be each other's inductors? in the WWE Hall of Fame. So they were inducted by this person and they also inducted that same person into the Hall of Fame. Who are the only two men to do it? 10 seconds. Go. Oh, I'm, I thought I'm right, but I'm going to say Flair and Piper. That is incorrect. Ten, Nico, 10 seconds. Go. Is it Jake Roberts and DDP? That is also incorrect. Eric Bischoff actually inducted DDP. And yeah. Flair was inducted by Triple H. Okay, yeah. It was actually an early one. It was Bobo Brazil and Big Cat Ernie Ladd. Wow. They actually inducted each other <laughs> oh, no. back back years. Wow. Little tricky because it was the 90s before the Hall of Fame was like really uh, yeah. well known. All right. Nico, this one should be... Right in your wheelhouse, I think. <laughs> I don't know anymore. 
<laughs> Who was the first person eliminated in the fatal four way for the vacant Universal Championship on the August 29th, 2016 episode of Monday Night Raw? Oh, 10 seconds. Oh. Go. Was that Big Cass? That was Big Cass. Very well done. I couldn't remember who the fourth guy was in the match. <laughs> Poor Big Cass. So, so cool. yeah. That also had Owens and Rollins. Who was the other guy? Reigns. Reigns. Oh, duh. <laughs> just like that. pedigree Reigns. Yep. Fantastic moment and fantastic match that was. Yeah. All right. Paul, your next question. Yeah. Which former multi-time champion in NXT once went under the ring name Jerk Jackson? Ten seconds. Go. I'm going to say Johnny Gargano. That is incorrect. Nico, ten yeah. seconds. Go. Adam Cole? It is not Adam Cole, baby. You you have the right group. It was Bobby Fish. <laughs> I had no idea. Phew. <laughs> All right. Nico. Who said the following quote? You exist to serve us. We are the providers and the protectors. We are the leaders, the chiefs, and the generals. We are the absolute power. We own you. 10 seconds. Go. Oh, dear Lord. Is it Triple H? That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. Can you repeat it really quick? Yeah. I mean, it's on the screen, but uh, who said the following quote? You exist to serve us. We are the providers and the protectors. We are the leaders, the chiefs, and the generals. We are the absolute power. We own you. Ten seconds. Go. Let's say Seth Rollins. That is incorrect. Nico, I feel really bad because it was part of his entrance, but it was Stephanie McMahon who said it. I have Ooh. second guessed myself three times in this match. Stop and it. I've, <laughs> I've, uh, I'm going to punch my computer. Square and one of the things, and it's a sharp learning curve about this show. Go with your gut. Yeah, let's go with your gut. Oh, it's the 10 seconds. It's really throwing me off. <laughs> All right, Paul, your next question. What was the main event of AEW Fighter Fest 2019? 10 seconds. Go. Cody versus MJF. That is incorrect. Nico, 10 seconds. Go. Was that Mox and Janela uh, lights out? It wasn't lights out, but it, it was Mox and Janela. That's all I needed. Yeah. That is correct. All right. Number 19, Nico. <laughs> Who was the first person to defeat the Miz one on one? At WrestleMania. 10 seconds. Go. Am I crazy or was it Cesaro? That is incorrect. Paul, 10 seconds. Go. Was it Shane McMahon? It was Shane McMahon. My favorite McMahon. <laughs> Shane O'Mac. I remember that, Bino. <laughs> it's hard to sort of... Yeah, the Miz didn't get defeated one on one at WrestleMania. He had a couple wins before. His first loss was to Shane at 35. Yep. All right, the final question. Paul, who holds the record for most cumulative time in Royal Rumble match history? So, who's been in the ring the longest total over all their Rumble appearances? 10 seconds. Go. I just reviewed this a little bit ago. Chris Jericho. <laughs> that's a good thing you reviewed it because that's right. Chris I Jericho. knew it already, but I just was looking over all our humble stats. So. <laughs> and that is 20 questions. And ladies and gentlemen, with a score of nine to four, 
Paul Mead. I knew you were going to be a beast coming <laughs> in. Congratulations, brother. Wow. You were moving on to face Chris Cass, who himself. Wow. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Oh. Nico, I, I tell you, especially when I've been on that side, I've been on that side where I missed three or four back to back because I second guessed myself. I think it was something else. And it's rough. It really is. But you, you still put forth an impressive performance. I liked, uh, I liked how this match panned out. It was a good match between the two of you and, Unfortunately, a couple things not in the wheelhouse. It, it happens. But, I, pre uh, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but I you do did a great job. I don't consider four but, points out of a potential uh, ten with when there were twenty. Quite, I don't consider this a good performance. I, I hold myself to a higher standard than this, especially considering the way you hyped me up and you yeah. hyped my debut up in that bracketology video of uh, from before the end of the year. So, uh, so like I, I felt like this was my time to shine here and instead i just completely shat the bed all over uh, I'm, I'm not happy about this well, well i'll tell you what i mean every person who goes through a match like this has a bad day mm. i've had bad days paul's had bad days i know he's only done a couple but yeah jeff meacham had bad days I, I mean if you look at the triple threats i mean one of the champions only got one point out of 30 so it, it happens. It's it's the lay of the land. It's the questions, and you either know it or you don't. And trust me, trust me when I say this, guys. Nico is way better than this performance might tell yeah. you. I, I've faced off against him in the New Year's Rumble, and he was hanging in there for good. And know, and that's what bothers me the most. That's what bothers me the most is this is actually a channel that gets a, a lot of viewership. A lot of viewership. This was my chance to really make a good impression uh, and to show what you already know from having shared the ring with me yeah. in various mm -hmm. matches. And instead, I, I don't feel like I showed that. I, I feel like I instead just like, here's a turd, accept it. And uh, and like, I'm, I, I, will, I will not be happy about this. I will be, th this is going to be like low key from when he lost the Opera Cup uh, and he made it all the way to the finals. And then lost it again to Tom Lawler. I, I like I, I'm gonna harp on this until you give me another match. I, I, I tell you what, if we do another tournament after this, because quite frankly, like yeah. doing the seasons and having beaten pretty much everybody over the course of a thousand <laughs> days, I like the tournament formats. And if we do yeah. another tournament, Nico, you'll definitely get a chance of redemption. And definitely. Maybe matches. I, I don't know what the show is going to hold after this tournament's over, but. Again, thank you very much for being a part of the show. Okay. If you want to go check out Nico and more people from Combat Wrestling Trivia, go over there, Definitely. search for Combat Wrestling Trivia on YouTube. You will find both of us on there for various matches. And Paul, thank you. Chris Cass is not an easy person to face. No, he's not. I know. And you you did very well today. You're going to thank need you. to pick it up all the way through this tournament because uh -huh. like I said, this is not an easy road for anybody. I honestly felt looking at that bracket. I'm like, I got to be one of the lower seats. <laughs> so, well, just looking at the bracket, just, I felt like it just with little experience. Like, well, the thing is I, I drew names out of a hat. So there, there was no yeah. seating necessary. I didn't yeah, say were higher or lower. I just, Put together what I hoped were the best matches, and so so far in this tournament, I will say this has been the best match. Thank you. So you, you two, I know Nico, you're a little down, but you you honestly did well. I know four yeah. points doesn't seem like it, but you did well. So that being said, we now know one of the quarterfinals matches. It's going to be Chris Cass against Paul Mead. So who's going to win that, and who's going to fill out the rest of the bracket? in the first round we will find out and we got the post show coming up live right now on all the networks you're watching stay tuned on this video it's not going to be another video we're coming to you live right now we'll be there in just a moment <laughs> 